I just um, I did a video on this eye look right here. It's like a nice spring, I mean summery look. Um, it's like really corally and then it has like a shimmer on, on there. Um, it's like the simplest eyeshadow, I swear. It's just like one shade and then your lid shade and then the shimmer and that's it. That's all you gotta do. You could do a wing, no wing, lashes. Like you do your falsies, regular lashes. I know I just did like a simple contour, highlight. Um, if you guys want to keep watching this video, um, do so. Please like, subscribe, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And just keep watching. Um, so as you can see, I already started doing one eye. Well, I already did one eye. And I already have my brows done, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of sharpen out my brow area with a concealer and the um, eyebrow brush. And the concealer I'm using is the Age Rewind um, from Maybelline, and it's in the shade Light Pale. I'm just going to go ahead and dab my brush on there, and then um, I'm just going to... Conceal to sharpen out the look, and then I'm just gonna brush down, and then I'm just gonna conceal my eyelid. Kind of just go over that, as you can see. And just use my fingers and fill in everything. And then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow C brush. And it's just like a a flat, big brush. And I'm gonna use that with the Morphe 35W palette. And I'm gonna use the second shade. And just like that. And I'm gonna use this to cover up my whole lid to prime, well not prime it, but to just, um, set it. And you could use a translucent powder or any kind of eyeshadow color, just one that matches your skin tone is preferred. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. And this is how it looks like. And then I'm going to combine from this using the same palette this baby pink and then this other like softer pink and this corally peach tone color. And I'm just going to use that to for the crease. And I'm just going to blend it all in. This is like a really simple, just the simplest eyeshadow you could think of. It's really simple and it's really cute, especially for summer. I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay, and I just did like three coats of that and then I'm going to go in with the Eco Tools shader brush. And you could just use any shader brush. And from the same palette, we are going to go with this, this, um, color. I'm just going to pat that. And we are going to just apply that all over your eyelid. And just stay under the crease, but apply it everywhere. Okay, and then I just applied three coats of that. And then we are going to go in with just our finger and this is the 35O palette from our morphine and I'm going to use this color and this color and we're just going to tap that on our finger like so and just tap it all over the eyelid and that is literally it just that's the eyeshadow that's it and now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. First I like to go in with this Metro Precise Skinnier 
and this is also from Maybelline and I just like to line the top of my lash line and I'm just gonna line it out and this is gonna help me actually because I'm gonna go in right now with a liquid liner this is gonna help me line and I'm just gonna trace just be coat this with the liquid liner so you can make it as thick as you please um you're gonna eventually just go over the liquid liner with this gonna go in with the NYX matte liquid liner and this is how it looks it's really really fine so we're gonna go with that and we're gonna do our wing and ombre line okay so there it is and if you are having trouble like I am to do my wing you kind of want to clean it up you get do the same thing like you did with your eyebrow but you're just gonna clean up your wing with the same concealer the same brush just gonna apply that and just straighten out the line You just get your finger and blend that out like so, and then you got your wing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes. So I'm gonna curl my lashes with this curler. I really don't know where I got where where it's from. Sorry, or the brand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and. What I like to do when I curl my lashes, I like to do it all the way at the bottom first. One, two, three, and then oh, go a little higher. One, two, three, and then a little higher. One, two, three, and we're gonna go in with the CoverGirl Plump Blast Pro um, mascara. This is how it looks like. It like spins and then it's like a little ball on the top. Half a like half a ball. So I'm gonna apply that on my lashes. And I like to apply three coats of this. So I applied three coats of mascara and this is how it looks. Um I'm not gonna be applying falsies because my eyelashes are already really long and if you guys like you guys can go ahead and do it i think it would look super cute with um falsies but i wouldn't i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and i'm gonna use the next intro fail primer and just apply that in my t-zone and for my t-zone i'm gonna spread it out to my to the rest of my face area apply that I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of concealing under my eyes with the same concealer and I just dab that just right here and I'm gonna use my fingers and blend that out and now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal True Match foundation this is in buff beige and four I'm just gonna shake that. And I'm just gonna dab that on one side of my face first. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. And just blend it all out. And I'm gonna do this to all of my face. And just in little sections, like dab on the other side, then dab up here, then in my nose, and that's it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and brighten up my under eye area, a little bit of my forehead down my nose, um, right here in the mustache area, and my chin. So, using the same concealer, this is uh, from Maybelline again, and this is their color Light Pale. So I'm just gonna do that for now. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Beauty Blender again, and. This is a really good dupe for the actual beauty blender, and um, it doesn't even cost you $20 like the regular beauty blender does, and it does the same thing, um, the same results. And then I'm going to apply right here, down the bridge of my nose, my mustache area, and on my chin. Um... If you guys are going to conceal your guys' forehead, if you guys have like a bigger forehead, well, a big forehead like I do, I only conceal a little bit because if you do it outwards, it's just going to create the effect that you have of an even bigger forehead. And for those of you guys that have a smaller one, um, you could do it like one, two, three, and that's going to make the illusion of your forehead being at least a little bit bigger. And not so small. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D contour palette and I'm just gonna go in with this, the darkest shade and just use the same beauty blender and just dab that right under your eye. The same thing on the other side. Down the bridge of my nose, a little bit of my forehead, mustache, and in my chin. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour with the same palette. And I'm going to use the Master of Beauty's Contour. And I just got this brush at um, TJ Maxx. So I'm just going to use their gray tone and then just a little tiny bit of that darker shade. Mm, only because it is real pigmented. And you want to do it on the hollow of your cheek. Like so. And this will create the illusion of a thinner face. Just like that. So, same colors. I'm going to go ahead and do my forehead. And I'm going to go a little bit lower just because I, like I said, I have a big forehead. And I'm going to do my chin. My chin, like so, and then push it out. Like so. Come here. And push down. Kind of want to connect all your. Um, contour like a three, like like that. And if you'd like, you could contour your nose. I kind of don't really do that this much because I feel like I have two big old stripes down my nose. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my face using the same palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and use. The middle shade with the Master of Beauty powder brush. This is just a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna warm up like so. All over. You can skip this step if you don't want to in front, but since you know it is the summertime and everything, it looks nice. And just go down your neck.
Then gonna go in with the Milani Coral Coat Power Brush and use an equal to a blush brush. Just a little bit. And this goes really good with this. This blush color goes really good with the eye look. Because it's corally. Now I'm gonna highlight with the Mary Luminizer from the Balms Cosmetics. And I'm gonna use a real thick NYX blush brush. I like this brush. I just like the, the shape of it. I'm just gonna apply that on top of my cheek. Um, on top of my brow bone, down my nose, the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my... I'm gonna go ahead and finish up our eyes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up our eyes, and we are gonna go in with this color that we used for our eyelid. We are gonna apply that on the bottom. And to highlight the brow bone, I'm just going to go in with the, this lightest shade from the 35W palette. Just, just apply it under the brow bone. For the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Elf Contour Brush, which is what I used for um, to highlight the brow bone. I'm going to use this, but I'm actually going to spray it with the finishing spray. Spray it twice, and I'm going to use the highlight that we used for our face to brighten up the inner corner of our eyes. I'm just going to apply that there. Kind of make it go in. And now I'm going to go ahead and with the same mascara we used to apply and our eyelashes, we're going to apply in our lower bottom lashes just like that. And then for the lips, I'm going to go ahead and use this Lip Sweat It Velvet Lip Chubby from the Flower Cosmetics. And you can find this in your Walmart. Um, yeah, it's called Mauve Over. This is just a nice color. And I'm not going to line my lips. Um, you guys could use like a really nice nude color. It goes with this. I kind of feel like this is a little too... Um, corally for this tone or or how it shows up but I could top it over with like a nude um lipstick liquid lipstick whatever nude and it would look really cute so now I'm gonna set the makeup with the NYX dewy finish and just spray that all over your face and there you go so you guys, this is the final look, um, you guys can't really see the highlighter and everything, but, um, follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna be posting up pictures of this look, I hope you guys like it, please subscribe, please give the thumbs up, um, comment down below if, um, suggesting any kind of video that you guys wanna see, I'm more than happy to do any kind of video, I'm thinking actually about doing, like, a whole just drugstore so yes you guys um please like comment share whatever you guys want um and i'm more than happy to do any kind of video for you guys um this is a close-up of the final look i've gotten really good comments on this um i think it's really cute it's really spring summery it's really summery it's nice um yeah so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah just Thank you.